It's been seven years since we last talked, so... I hope you still remember me a little. <laughs> Are you still alive? What? Arya? Hmm? You're going to act all surprised when your cute little sister comes to you after all these years. You're already starting things off by calling yourself cute when you aren't even a little kid anymore. Well, I'm the one that turned out to be the cute one. There, I said it again. I wasn't joking when I made it seem like there's something wrong with calling yourself cute like that. But I guess you never did grow out of being such a child. So this is all fitting for you. What? Never mind. What do you want from me? Ah, uh, right! I totally forgot about the thing I came to you for in the first place. <laughs> Then how about we just stop talking to each other now? I've got things that I like to get working on, and you're just chewing up my time. Oh, come on. I have something really important to talk to you about that will affect your future more than it will affect mine. Then hurry up and spit it out. You must have gotten the invitation to my wedding, right? Hmm? I'm sure seeing the name of my fiancé got you all worked up, but... I'm going to take a look in my mailbox right now. What? Why are you going now? Sorry for making you wait. I found the invitation. So you still haven't even read it yet? I haven't had a chance to go outside yet today, so I never got around to grabbing the mail this morning. I didn't mean it as not wanting to see your invitation. I just didn't expect that you'd ever get married. Or at least that you'd even invite me to the wedding. Are you sure you didn't read it on purpose? You're not just saying you haven't seen the invitation yet because of how crazy you must be feeling after seeing who my fiancé is. <laughs> Your fiancé? The person you seem to be getting married to doesn't even ring a bell to me. Well, maybe the name does a little. You have to know who he is! <laughs> because he's your fiancé that I've stolen to become my husband! What? There's no way you don't recognize the name of your fiancé! <laughs> Um, my boyfriend's name isn't Jack. Yeah, yeah. You're just saying that to try and run away from the fact that you lost once again to me. <laughs> I mean, I guess their last names are the same, but a lot of people have this name. Anyway, about the wedding. I want to make sure that you'll be coming to it so that I can have everything ready for you. In other words, take that day off right now so that you have time to get ready. Write it on your calendar or something, please. Why? I'd feel bad not having the ex of my husband at the wedding. Especially since she's my sister and needs to see me marry him. <laughs> also, I'd like to introduce you to another man at the wedding so that you don't end up lonely and depressed. <laughs> you want me to meet another man? I took your fiancé from you, so it's only fair that you meet a new man that I'll have ready for you. <laughs> But I have a boyfriend, and we aren't even engaged yet. And I told you that I stole him from you before you both could get married. Please stop trying to deny all of this, okay? It's not healthy to turn away from the truth. <laughs>
But the man that you have written on this invitation isn't even my boyfriend either. In other words, the man you think you've stolen from me is neither my boyfriend nor my fiancé. Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> but you're still going to come to my wedding, right? If you don't end up coming to the wedding, I wonder what the new man that I've set up for you will think of his new girlfriend. <laughs> also, your ex is part of a very elite family with a very popular name. So his family and friends will also start to look down on you for not showing up. <laughs> that could even lead to this new man I have for you losing his job. <laughs> so don't embarrass yourself or me on my special day. Or else I'll have to cut ties with you. Aria. See you later. Jake, can we talk right now? I'm sure you have a lot on your plate at work, but it's a little urgent. I have something I want to ask about that pertains to our relationship. Yeah, right now's a good time. I just started my lunch, so I have about an hour. What's up? Your older brother's name is Jack, right? You're asking about my brother? Before, I remember we talked about him a little. And so I just wanted to make sure that was his name. Well, his name is in fact still Jack. At least, I hope so. Unless he went ahead and changed it on me, lol. So I was right. What's going on, though? And how does this relate to us being a couple? Um, well... It seems that Jack is going to be getting married to my little sister, Arya. Really? So my brother's fiancé has been your little sister this whole time? I never would have thought something like that could happen. It seems that way, though. Today I got an invitation in the mail from my sister for her wedding. When I had first looked at the invitation and saw the man she'd be getting married to had the same name as your brother, I thought perhaps it was just a coincidence. But when I started to really think about it, I thought about how you said your brother was planning to get married sometime this year. Just thinking that my brother plans to get married to Arya. Didn't you say your little sister is a bit wild and selfish at times? She sure is. Well, I suppose someone like that would be fitting for my train wreck of a brother, lol. But knowing that he's with your younger sister, it really does put that whole phrase, it's a small world, into perspective. Well, about that. Arya thinks that your brother is my boyfriend. And that she's gone and stolen him from me. W what? I don't get how she came to think of something like that. But I thought that I should ask you first to see if you knew anything about this. Perhaps you really were planning to marry my sister this whole time, and she just wrote the wrong name on the invitation or something. No. All I knew about this was that my brother had been planning to get married soon. And when he brought his fiance over to show the family, I wasn't around so I never got to see her face or catch her name. I see. So we're in the same boat then. <laughs> and just to make sure, your brother's name is Jack, right? Yes. Just checking one last time. But... What? Right now, my brother has everyone over at the house celebrating his upcoming wedding, and he doesn't seem to know a thing about the connections we all have. LOL. What, really? Yeah. I think that this would be a good chance for you and I to learn more about this and fix the misunderstanding. Do you think you can come over and join me in seeing everyone? That would give us a chance to learn more about his fiance, your sister, and maybe why she thinks that I'm him. Yes, of course. She's not over there with him, right? 
No, so you don't have to worry about anyone really knowing who you are. Perfect! Ella! I'm assuming you've already left your house? Yeah, I just left the house a little bit ago, and I'm on the road now. All right, all right. <laughs> make sure that you get to the wedding on time, and then from there, make sure to keep up good spirits. This wedding will also be a huge turning point in your life. So I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything. <laughs> and don't be afraid to cry a bit when you see me getting married to your ex. <laughs> I totally understand that you'll be feeling bad about everything that's happened, but I promise you can use the bathroom to fix your makeup after that. <laughs> and after we get married, I'll introduce you to the man you'll get to be with. However, unlike the rest of his family, he's just a low-level employee making $5,000 a month. <laughs> But, I think he'll be perfect for someone with your unfortunate luck and looks. <laughs> Especially after getting a wake-up call from your little sister that you can't have a man like Jack. <laughs> Just know that Jake, the man I want you to date, will be able to comfort you. <laughs> you don't have to introduce me to him because we've been together for two years now already. Huh? Actually, we just turned in our marriage forms yesterday. So he's my husband now. It was a bit fast on our part, but we decide we really love each other enough. And with what's all going on right now, it'd be the best choice. It'll make these next couple of weeks more amazing for us as well. Huh? Wait. <laughs> I'm a little confused by what you're saying right now. But all I'm hearing is that you just married a loser that makes only $5,000 a month, huh? <laughs> Perhaps he fooled you by not telling you he makes that little so that he can marry you. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> My husband Jake told me that he's making close to $150,000 a year and it's only a second year within the company. Uh-huh. Neither of Jake's parents understood why he was making more than his older brother when he had only just been with the company for two years, since his brother was making half that. I think you're thinking of Jack, right? Making $5,000 a month. What? This is all what I heard from Jake, but his older brother Jack had started working for his dad, but ended up making a lot of mistakes, as well as caused some problems for customers to the company. But instead of letting him leave his company, Jack's dad just lowered his pay drastically as a way of getting him to understand that he needed to take his work more seriously. Of course, Jack left anyway and start working odd jobs and part-time jobs that really didn't pay him much. And that's why he's left only making $60,000 a year, with most of that coming from some extra help. But I'm assuming that amount will only go down as time goes on, because he's not even doing well with all the odd jobs he does now. And there's some family stuff that'll be a bump in the road for him, too. Uh-huh... I think the reason you got really confused in thinking that Jake was the one you'd be marrying and that I get Jack is because of how similar their names are. You are right that Jack isn't making as much as his younger brother, but I was never dating him or planning to marry him. But, but, ever since I started dating him, he's brought me to really nice restaurants. He'd also buy me all sorts of brand bags and clothing that I'd never be able to afford myself. We've even gone on some really nice trips outside of the country together. Even the wedding today is going to cost him $70,000. All of that is his parents' money. What? 
Did you really think he'd be able to do all of that with his odd jobs and part-time work? What gets him $5,000 a month is primarily from what his parents give to him. I'm assuming that even then, he wouldn't be able to afford everything for you. So he's been milking even more money out of them. Um... <laughs> I know that you're just jealous of me, so you can stop lying about my man. <laughs> It's not a lie. Even if he was working odd jobs and barely making enough money for himself on his own, he still has the ability to use his parents' money and take me anywhere and buy me anything. So I don't actually care that he makes $5,000 a month because I can just use his parents with him. <laughs> well, I have to get back to preparing for my wedding. <laughs> Bye-bye! Oh, I still have a lot to tell you about, though. Well, whatever, I guess. <coughs> Ella! Why did you never tell me about the most important thing earlier? You never said that Jack's father's company had gone bankrupt a month ago! Ah, uh, well, about that. He ended up not doing a very good job handling all of his employees, and over time a lot of them began to quit. And he was no longer to keep up with the workload. That eventually led to the end of his company being in his hands. That's something you should have been telling me the moment you found out. Well, I was planning on telling you a little bit ago, but you stopped talking to me before I could get to it. So, who did you end up hearing about that from? I heard it from one of the girls that worked for his dad there. She said it was pretty brave of me to marry into a family that is going through such tough times. Ah, that girl, huh? Did you know that she used to be married to Jack about a year ago? You're lying! This isn't Jack's first time getting married? His previous wife's name is Jackie, right? Well, she used to work with Jack until they got married. And then when she started to notice that things weren't going well with Jack or his dad's company, she left him. Hold on... She had two kids with her as well when she showed up to say hi to me. I'm assuming that those might be the kids that she had with Jack a few years ago and decide to bring them to see their dad today. What the heck? Now that you mention it, Jack's parents have been paying for their child support for a while now. Eh? Uh? But after they lost their company, I don't think they'll be able to afford dealing with Jack anymore. So you guys might need to figure out where to get all this money from. Crap. What is this? I have no idea why this is happening now. You never seem to understand that it wasn't going to be my boyfriend that you were marrying. So you got lost thinking about the money he has compared to what Jack has. Huh? I'm saying that if you had thought a bit more about which brother you were actually getting married to, instead of just bragging about stealing my supposed boyfriend, then maybe you would have seen that Jack has very little to his name. But wait, I had just assumed that I was with the brother that was making bank compared to the other. I believe that that brother was Jack and that he was the younger of the two. Well, you're going to have to figure out what to do about this on your own. Uh-huh. I'm going to be heading to Italy with Jake for a while soon. To Italy? He's going over there to start helping film some small movies for a while. And I plan to go along as his wife to help him enjoy his time and not stress too much. Were you both planning to leave today to go? Well, you could just say that this was all a coincidence of sorts. 
Really, we had wanted to get out of the country a lot sooner. But Jake wanted to stay around a little longer to see what happened with his father's company. But when his parents started asking him to help with their problems, he kindly declined and realized that it was time for himself to be preparing for the big move. And that's why today, the two of us are at the airport. The airport! And with that, I don't think we'll be seeing each other for a very long time. Um, wait, Ella! Goodbye. Ella! In the end, it seems that Arya blamed all of this on Jack's family, and Jack himself not telling her about their company, and how little money Jack had, so she canceled the wedding. However, since the wedding was canceled on the day of, she ended up needing to pay around $10,000. And because Jack's parents already paid $70,000 for the wedding, she had no other choice but to sell all her things to pay the fee, and then moved in with Jack's parents. She still had a bit to pay off yet, and so was forced to start working odd jobs and part-time work with Jack to save up enough to pay off the rest of that fee and to pay to live within Jack's parents' house. Personally, I would have just gone ahead and divorced Jack when all this came out. But she didn't seem to have her head on straight, and she never got around to taking that option when she had the chance. And when it comes to my parents, as much as they love their little daughter, they were not going to help her with the problems she brought upon herself. They basically felt that after hearing about how happy she was to supposedly steal Jake from me, that she was not as nice as they once thought, and that she did not deserve their help. Anyway, with little to no help from either side of the family, Arya has gotten herself stuck in a very tough situation. But I'm sure that someday she'll figure out something to do besides crying over her own ignorance. 